a good pass and a good take as well. Good diagonal ball over towards Chris Twardek. He's still on side here, he's still in, it's towards the back post. Oh, how did he miss that? It's Okway right in the box. In fact, no, yeah, it was his Okway. And I don't know how he's managed to miss that. He had all the time in the world to, to get that on his right foot. Good pressure from Twardek. Now Griffin. Given away poorly. Tally Coop. And now Bowes pressing really well. It's good pace as well. Good body movement here. He's still on it here. He's taking the oh. shot. He's taking a deflection. And Bowes take the lead on 12 minutes. A really, really unlucky goal to see go in the back of the net for Shells. But ultimately, the work and the body movement was unbelievable for that run. Well, it was just a number of errors, really, wasn't it? It was a loose pass into Dan Thomas that initially gave possession back to, to Bowes. You've got to give credit to Bowes. They're squeezing high up the pitch. Liam Burke breaks away, has a good bit of skill, lovely bit of skill actually, and look, makes his own look, I think it's Shane Griffin has come in, he's stiff, expecting the shot to go low to the ground. So the corner. Oh. The right foot, oh, how about that? How about that from Boyd? And just like that, Shells are straight back in the game. Well, look, they've made a count, Dave. It's a wonderful delivery in, but you can see it's, a, it's with intent. Shane Farrell just delivering into that front post area at a really good height, good pace. And Boyd manages to lose his man. He's got a free header on it, but he's got a lot to do. Puts a lot of power on the header, even though Talbot gets his hand to it. Just can't keep it out. Griffin doing his best to get ahead on it. Good header there from Adam Thomas. Bows have stretched now. It's Max Murphy out towards Twardick. Again, Max Murphy finding a little pocket of space. And there is Ali Coot. The ball's come in, it's away. But Bows have a real chance here on the left foot. Wonderful block, that is. Excellent defensive work from Griffin. Uzokwe, is oh, it? No, nope. it's a penalty. I think it's for the foul in Ozokwe, and both have a penalty here on 43 minutes. The whistle goes. Devoy. And it's 2-1 to Bose. It's a wonderful penalty from Devoy. It's right down the middle. Brendan Clark goes to his left. And Bose are going to nick this lead into halftime. Very vigilant when it comes to where the thrones have been taken this afternoon. Adam Thomas lets that run across him and it's nicked away by Ali Coop. He's got Twardek inside of him. Good touch from Twardek. What a bit of skill that is from Twardek. That is Chris Twardek showing what he can do. And at the beginning of the second half, Bowes double their lead. And a wonderful finish from Chris Twardek. Reason why Tuners found himself a little bit more space. That, that shells back three. They're obviously taking more chances now. Shells. This is the danger. Here is Liam Burt. Burt finding his way all the way through. Big save and a deflection just takes it back to Junior Azokwe. And Liam Burt just ran through the entire field. It's an excellent save initially from Brendan Clark, but un unfortunately came back to Junior Azokwe and. Bows are going to take the lead here, 4-1 at Tolga Park. So the free kick for Shells. Shane Farrell lifts this towards the oh. back post. It's going to fall. Big oh. chance missed. And Sean Boyd with a big chance to bring Shells back into the game. On his right foot, just puts it wide. Now played through the middle. There's Lonnie. Now Daniel Clark can turn. That's a bit of space now for Shells to work into. Ball's going to float in. Oh. And it is. oh, that's another big chance. This time for Jordan McInef. He had all the space. It's a good run down the middle towards goal. And his header goes over the bar. Keeping it tight and compact here, Shells. McInef. Inside the car, McInef. 
looks to hook it across, there's not enough power on it. And the referee fall calls for full time here at Tolka Park in the North Dublin derby. And it's Bose who come out on top. Yeah, a good, good win, um, important win. Um, uh, Friday, Monday games, uh, they're tough, derbies are tough, you know, hard fought, um, you know, competitive game, you know, I thought, I thought we showed our quality. Um, uh, we go into win at half time, get ahead in the game, lean board, causing uh, problems for, for the Shelburne defence. Uh, I thought we, I, I thought we started the game well. We showed, like I said, um, we didn't shirk away from uh, the responsibilities of, of winning the duels, winning the battles. You know, putting our bodies on the line, and, and neither did Shells. To be fair, it was. Um, I felt it was. A, there was good tempo to the game. Obviously, you, you know, the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, there was a, a downpour, which helps the game uh, flow. Uh, so. Um, yeah, we we probably feel that's been coming a little bit. To be fair, um, you know we haven't uh, quite got some of the results our performances maybe have deserved. Um, you know today we got ahead and we got further ahead and, and we stayed ahead and I think that was important.